Welcome back to the show. Today we're going to show you how to load film into the Nikon FM2N. N stands for new, which is uh, expressed on the back, but doesn't change much between the FM2. Basically, we're going to show you how to load a roll of 36 exposures. Obviously, you can shoot color negative film, black and white film, or like this one, HP5 that I have here, or slide film, and so on. This is a dud film, so we use it for loading. This is a Polaroid film, which is no longer in uh, manufactured. So to open the back, basically, this camera doesn't run on batteries. It only uses batteries for the light meter, which are on the bottom. All we have to do is pull this up, but as you can see, it doesn't want to go up. We have a little lever here that we have to push towards us, so we push towards us. That lets us, lets us raise this, and when we pull it, basically you hear a clack and basically spring loaded back is open. So with this all the way up, so we can, because if I push it down, you see it goes down and we can't do that. We have to once again liberate it uh, by pushing that little lever. We put our roll of film all the way in. And as I said, this is a bad film, so don't be worried about the looks of it. It looks like it's gone through some sort of apocalypse. Um, this, you sometimes want to push down, but it doesn't want to go down. So just give it a bit of a spin and suddenly it will go in. It's not wanting to go in. Maybe we didn't put it all the way in. There we go, now it's all the way in. So push that down. And the leader has to go into one of these cutouts. If you turn on the camera, which is that how you turn it on, by pulling the lever a little bit out to you, we can shoot and then push till we see an opening. Grab the leader of the film, slide it in there, just carefully. You don't have to be too careful. And then we just advance. I'm gonna take another picture. As you can see, it's now coming around. And we're gonna take another one just to be sure. There we go. Now the film is there. Now we could close the back. And you don't want this film to be bulged, so you wanna have it as flat as possible. We just snap it in. And now what we do is we usually take a few shots and we're in bulb speed. So we just go, let's go to 250th and we just take a shot and take another shot. And now the indicator is at uh, frame number one. We have to change the ISO if we're shooting with the internal light meter, which is battery operated, it's a fully mechanical camera. So for that, we have to raise this ring and you can see how it raises a little bit, you see? and we change it to the ISO. Let's say it was ISO 400 speed film, and there. That would be ready. Now we can just focus, do our apertures, do our shutter speeds, and take pictures, and enjoy. One thing to make sure is that this is turning, as you can see. It's turning every time I spin. If I try to hold it, oh, there we go. It should be spinning. That is a good sign, that means your film is actually properly loaded. You're actually taking pictures. So this is what you would do all the way till you get to frame 36. If it's a 36 exposure roll, if it's 24, all the way up to 27. And when you feel like it's running out of film, you'll see that it stops. You basically have to rewind it and take it. Now all your film's going from your canister into your camera. We open the back we would expose all our pictures and get them ruined. So yeah, that's how you load it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.